Hey y'all, man, y'all already know what time it is, man. I said this in like dozens and dozens of videos before I made this. Well, okay. I don't know, I'm probably like fucking overexerting it, but no, I said in like a, in a few past episodes, I was going to get to this review when I got to it. And you know what? I finally got to this shit and I'm going to finally do it now. Uh, um, when I first heard that uh, Ice Cube had a new album at, uh, had a new album coming out, you know, I was like, uh, I was like fucking ready to just hear every single 14 to 13 tracks, but I'm pretty sure it's a little skeptical. I, I literally just finished hearing this album like a week ago, so yeah, it's kind of like here and there, but if you still put on a song for me, I can still remember it and whatnot. Like, I can just trace it back from which and whatnot. Like, that's that's pretty much how fucking good this album is. And considering, uh, you know, Ice Cube pretty much being amongst, uh, and if not, pretty much, what, uh, and if is or not, I'm pretty much using the terminology wrong, but yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. Uh, him pretty much being amongst, or is probably one amongst, uh, my, my uh, favorite rappers of all time. I felt like it was necessary for me as a critic, whether it be music or movies or TV shows or, or, or books or etc. Like I had to do this review, uh, uh, I had to do this review out of, out, out of anything else I would fucking put on YouTube. And now I finally got to it and now I'm going to finally do it, but I guess it's enough uh, me just rambling about what's going on, uh, and shit, uh, everything's corrupt, um, I think, <laughs> I may be overexerting again, but I think, like, this, I think this whole album is, like, just fucking, just mystical, man, it's some, some, it's some, uh, Lord of the Rings shit going on with this album, it's, like, really just fucking mystical, like, this don't, it's like, I just fucking, Walked in my fucking wardrobe and I find fucking centaurs and talking lines and shit. Like, 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 like that's what that's what this album is or something. Or I'm about to do all fucking four elements. Okay, I'm pretty much overdoing it with uh, how much I like it. But yeah, man, this is a really fucking good album. It got like I, I feel like this album. It, it's it, it's like it's like the ultimate gamish. The, the, the ultimate gimmick of like every style of uh or not every style but pretty much it has various styles of uh genres of hip-hop that uh pretty much everyone's into that's still bumping that everyone's still uh uh, uh cranking to that uh, nowadays it uh has some really modern style rap shit going on and this really death certificate uh, uh feel to it like when i was listening to it feel like some death certificate shit which is not a bad thing because that certificate was was fucking the bomb. That's pretty much one of my favorite fucking albums from Ice Cube and uh, 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 Death Certificate, America's Most Wanted, uh, Lethal Interjection. Like like those are just fucking those, those three albums. They just fucking just they're, they're just yeah, man. I, I can't find a word for it, but man, they, they're they're fucking magnificent, and I feel like everything's corrupt. Is literally starting to be that that uh. Mm, that that uh fourth album is just gonna be just literally just right up there with those other three because that's how fucking good it was. Uh, I feel like the uh I feel like my favorite songs hand downs hands down is uh is gonna be uh you dig uh can you dig it like I mean I know I'm not from this <laughs> of course I'm not from the seventies or the nineties obviously but um I feel like uh the, during my fucking uh high school years pretty much everything you were saying I was you know was really black pride kid during the time and all that, you know, black fist. And, you know, I was rocking the Afro during up in my, uh, 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 my uh, sophomore year in high school. And I was just rocking that shit all the way up until my senior year. And I still got this shit, of course, got the hat on, but y'all still get it. Like I had the pink and everything the at my Afro was out and all that. I was, I didn't give a shit, but nobody said I, I was living for my fucking self. Uh, I was like, I was at the point of, uh, at the time where I was just really just, you know, mentally outgrowing a lot of niggas. Like some niggas was just walking at a snail pace. I'm, I'm not saying it's like a, a swag or braggadocious thing, but more so in terms of like, you know, uh, uh, thinking of, you know, uh, expectations, you know, uh, uh, goals and shit. Like, I just feel like, you know, it, it, it was, it was just really up there at the time. And this song kind of actually did give me a nostalgic trip. 
Of course, what well, you know, the 70s and 90s references the chorus. I'm coming straight from the 90s. It, not, not like that, but it still gave me that really nostalgic feel of like, you know, during high school, you know, when I, at one point, you know, we all we all went to it. I already know like there's a bunch of niggas looking at this video. Like we all went through it, man. At, at one point in high school, you know, our ego was just turned the fuck up and the nostrils ripped off of that bitch. And you like, we thought no one could fucking touch us and, and shit like that. That's what that, that pretty much what that song made me feel like. Uh, other despite, I pretty much felt, I pretty much was like every, I, I was pretty much every stereotype in high school at one point. Uh, so, you know, I, I was never consistent. Like at one point I was the nerd. At one point I was the silent nigga. At one point I was, uh, the, 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 I was the, uh, the, the brash nigga at one point. I, I, I was, I was pretty much, I was a gimmick of a lot of shit during my high school years. I mean, you know, I, I still got my, sh you know, I still did my shit. Like I still did everything. But I, at one point I was pretty much like every stereotype at one point. I was the funny, the, 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 the class clown, the class artist, the, the class, uh, uh, musician. I was part of the choir, all that shit. And, and pretty much, you dig it, pretty much gave me that really nostalgic uh, uh, feel to it. And I think that's why I cling really heavy to that song. And it just gave me a, uh, that song in particular, it, it, it reminded me of uh, my summer vacation from Death Certificate. Like this really, you know, mighty, like, yeah, man, y'all can't fuck with me type of thing. And, you know, I kind of felt like, yeah, like, yeah, this song is, this joint is, this joint banging like shit, man. Like every single track on that joint is just fucking, just like, stay. it just... This this rap album, this album in general is just like a breath of fucking air. It's pretty much one of the best ones I heard of last year. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I'm saying. And of course, you know, everyone knows about Funkadelic and Good Cop, Bad Cop and, and the rest of the press. I mean, like, no, those are badass songs. Like, and, and, but I'm going to say, dig it. Can you dig it? Like, that's that, that was pretty much my, my, my number one on that jump, for real, for real. And you know that that's only just you know only uh, reinforcing the uh, compliments I had from uh, Funkadelic, Good Cop, Bad Cop, and uh, Arrest and President. Like they just those are just fucking banging ass songs, and they happen to be on this banging ass album. So yeah, it's pretty what I gotta say about it. it. Got more or less this this rap album, this album in general got fucking it got something for everyone. I pretty much already said this shit, but that's how fucking good it is. It's it's a gimmish. It, it's a mutt uh, music style, but Q pretty much was able to pull this shit off and is able to fucking like supply everyone's interest. Be on some gangster shit, be on some political shit, be on some real shit, be on some social shit, be on some uh, swag shit. Like it just got everything for everyone. And and I feel like how Q, because he's, you know, pretty much one of the best rappers ever, to <laughs> be honest. And he was able to fucking pull this joint off. I'm like, yeah, man, this it, it, he man, he he got it, man. You you, you got it, <laughs> you got it. So so I give this man the the belt because this nigga really got it when he made this jump. Like like no one ain't seen Cube for real. <laughs> they just got this really just this this West Coast vibe to it. Like it's all bangers. I just you know I, of, of course I got nothing but praise for it. That's all I got fucking say for it. Uh, I can't really say any real vibes for it. Although uh, this might yeah, you say some real shit. You know he's come off with some. Some songs kind of had this really old headish feel, but but then again, you know, despite pretty much being a millennial myself, I I, I actually don't fit any of the stereotypes he was saying. I, I don't, he may be referring to other people, of course. Then of course, you know, he probably wasn't referring to me, or you know, not everyone thinks that same way. But you know, some shit is just fucked up in this era. Like some niggas is just some niggas even younger than me, like like 14, 15, 13 niggas. Like up, up from what uh, niggas in those age ranges, like they're just straight fucking drug addicts, man. Niggas just fucking dropping it left and right from uh, drug abuse and alcohol, uh, alcohol poison. So yeah, some real shit. Uh, although at one point I kind of thought it came off a little old headish, but no, actually, you say, I, you know, I actually was able to like, I actually came to the point like, yeah, but you know, every millennial isn't what he says in the song. So obviously, he's not fucking referring to everyone. He's only referring. To, to the ones he's mentioning, to the ones he's pointing out. So, yeah. Uh, and this album was fucking great, man. I, I'm going to give it a fucking exception. It was, it was really a fucking breath, breath of fresh air. It got some really funky shit, some, some, some shit from 
that'll give you this really 70s vibe, this really uh, 90s vibe. It got some really strong NWA shit in it, some death certificate shit in it. It, it just it just really just put me in that fucking zone when I heard this. So yeah, man, just showing some straight banker, man. I feel like fucking Ice Cube fucking pulled this off. Like, like if if um, my inept ass, if he isn't already in fucking the Hollywood Hall of Fame shits right now, his ass should be in there right fucking now. If, if of course if he already is, and you know, <laughs> I probably don't know this shit by now. If he uh, if he already if if he ain't, then he should be by now, cause he fucking pulled it off with this fucking album and. It's just only for uh, further reinforce like this niggas, like Ice Cube, like Cube is fucking, you know, uh, O'Shea. Ain't that, no one ain't fucking topping him. He's he's he, he's he's lava nigga like this. <laughs> I'm probably just doing it, but yeah, man, that's how fucking good this album is. That's how fucking good of a musician Ice Cube is, man. He fucking he fucking did this shit, man. I, I enjoyed every track of this job. I, I literally, I can literally listen to that shit when I'm like studying or writing or, or doing art and shit. Like, I mean, even though if they, if I use it in that terminology as background music, it still could be something you know that you know to, to inspire you, man. I'm, I'm a young nigga. If y'all didn't already know that, uh, so you know, it, it, it really you know kicks off the youth, man. It makes you want to you know set shit in a, in a you know do something best for yourself, like. It makes you don't want to fucking fail. It makes you want to fucking just keep going forward, keep chasing the dream. And you know how I already said how I kept yapping in further videos like, yeah, man, I used, to, I used to write fucking music and rap and shit. Let me get to it. But yeah, after I hear this shit, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm finally to that fucking point where I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm finally going to fucking uh, do what I kept fucking yapping about. Because it's actually, honestly, actually fucking miss writing music and, uh, I feel like this was not even the push. Like, I fucking felt like this was the fucking table flip of me getting back on that shit. So, yeah, I gotta, I'm going to have to shout out to Cube, man. I pretty much fucking grew up to, grew up with this man. Like, my first, my, like, literally my, fir my first song from him was uh, Check Yourself. My first official album from him was uh, Death Certificate. He was in fucking Friday. Grew up in that. He was in Are We There Yet? I know it may sound fucking corny, but it's some, some kid movie, but hey man, I fucking grew up in on Are We There Yet? And he was in it. Uh, he was in uh, the Triple X Jones. That movie was a, was was bomb. I mean, I may have different opinions when I look at that shit now, but hey man, I pretty much grew up with the man. He was pretty much in, uh, he's, I pretty much saw that man in every media I saw, right? For it was fucking music, or it was fucking uh, uh, entertainment. Uh, all these little uh, interviews he'd be saying, he'd be saying some real shit sometimes. Be on Jimmy Kimmel, sometimes he'd be on Vlad, sometimes you'd be having some uh, narrations and all that, man. I'm like, I, I just fucking grew up with the man, and I heard this, and and, and if I didn't, and if I didn't think he was a uh, well, one of the greatest rappers of all time, hands fucking down, then I, I would especially know now why I listen to this. Like, a, like, like, just throw away death certificate, throw away America's most wanted. Throw away a, a, a lethal interjection. Uh, throw away pretty much all the shit he did from NWA. I, I'm only speaking from my perspective. Throwing away as in, as a reference to if I'd never heard it before. If I would have heard this shit like in the era that it is now, then you know I would have I would have definitely say like, yeah, hey, you the fucking best, Nick. You, you the best man. You 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 deserve it, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I, I, I hope, man. Uh, Ice Cube kind of. I mean, he's been getting some some really uh, uh, big ass praise with this song. Uh, Good cop, bad cop was pretty much on every fucking radio. It was on every fucking movie. It was on, even on that dumbass Happy Time Murders uh, trailers. Like it, it was everywhere, and I feel like you know, like he was got he got praise from this, but I feel like you know it should be much more because he really put his whole fucking foot and 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 and, and, and torso into this fucking album, and I feel like he did a fucking good job. So. Yeah, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna salute you, man. Uh, and that was uh, so, uh, exceptional. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to give you that. Uh, I still think you can uh, can you dig is still pretty much the best fucking song on there. Even at the uh, the the, the uh, Warriors uh, uh the Warriors reference uh Cyrus, can you dig it? So I was like, yeah, okay, I'm like yeah, man. But and then this shit, it, it really uh, pushed me to get into this. So I'm like, yeah. So yeah, man, that's all I gotta say. It's a, it's a really good fucking album, man. I usually don't like recommend this shit. Uh, you should actually just go to it yourself. But 
I'm going to have to make, I'm going to have to digress. I'm going to make exceptions. Y'all got to hear this album. Wherever you black, you white, you gay, you straight, just any fucking, any fucking demographic just should be checking out this rap album because this is fucking really just how music, just how rap, this is how hip hop, this is how music, this is how shit like this is made. And man, that's all pretty much how I gotta say about it. Uh, that's pretty much about it, man. You know, you already know the drill. Uh, give a thumbs up, give likes. You know, check out my other uh, social media platforms that I go on this channel and whatnot. Uh, I'll be more. I'll be doing some more uh, fucking uh, uh, music reviews in the future. And as soon as I, you know, settle down, and actually listen to some shit. Uh, literally, like uh, give or take twenty five minutes ago, uh, 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 six seconds just posted a little snippet. One of his new songs from his upcoming album coming out. So, you know, your boy's going to be busy. So, yeah. Yeah, you already know, man. Check me out on my other, on my other uh, social media platforms. Uh, give likes if you like the video. Subscribe if you like fucking uh, quickie reviews and music critiques and album critiques and shit. Uh, subscribe to if you like shit like that because that's what I pretty much do. I do a whole lot of other shit, but that's pretty much amongst them. Uh... Fuck yeah, uh, give me notifications anytime you wanna know if, uh, you know, some new shit is coming around. Yeah, you already know, man, I, I, I've been to this channel before, or if you haven't, but you already know the, the YouTube deal going on. Man, that's all I gotta say, man. I'll be right back and put another uh, uh, video sometime later this week uh, and, and whatnot. Uh, yeah, the Adam Storm is watching y'all, man. And uh, I just gotta say, man, that if anyone who's uh, inspiring me, uh, who's trying to come out as an artist, man, uh, chase that shit, do that shit, man. Cause one day, man, you may never know, you might get shit as good as this. I'm not, I'm not trying to compare anyone, but I'm saying that's uh, everything's corrupt. It's just literally fucking walking proof of how music should be made. That's all I'm just saying. 